Hi, I'm Eric Spensley. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how we built these drawers for our table saw cart on Spensley Design Co. After completing the main case of our mobile table saw cart, we needed to finish it with some drawers. First, we needed to rip down all of our parts to their finished height before cutting them down to their finished length. Now, if you wanna download our free plans for both the drawers and the mobile table saw cart, visit our website at spensleydesignco.com or check the link in the description below. Once the height of all the pieces was established, we used our cross-cut sled to first square up the end of each board making up the sides of the drawer and then slide it over to the stop block that we set up. This will ensure that all of the pieces are the exact same size. And although the dimensions of the drawers we are building are specific to this project, you can always change the dimensions so they'll work perfectly for your project. Now one thing to learn with woodworking is that your project will never 100% perfectly match the dimensions in your plans. So figuring out how big to cut the drawer fronts and backs takes an extra step. We first place our drawer slides in the cabinet, as well as two scrap pieces that are the same thickness as the sides of our drawers. We then could take a measurement that would be the perfect size for the drawer fronts. And the goal here was to be at 24 and one quarter inches, but you can see they were actually off by an eighth of an inch, but not a big deal. Transferring that measurement over the table saw, we could then rip the front and back of each drawer down to the final length and then come back to cut it to final height. With all the pieces cut to size, we needed to cut a groove in the bottom of the sides and front of each drawer in order to hold the bottom panel in place. We lowered our table saw blade to about one quarter of an inch and also moved our fence over to about one quarter of an inch and ran all of the sides and fronts through the table saw. After the initial pass, we nudged our fence over just slightly and made another pass until the groove was just large enough to fit one quarter inch piece of plywood. To assemble the drawers, we used our Craig pocket hole jig to drill pocket holes in the front and back of each piece of the drawer. We could then align the front and side together, clamp them, and making sure that the grooves matched up, attach the pieces with one and a quarter inch softwood pocket hole screws. And although we made plans for these drawers, that doesn't stop us from getting confused from time to time. After figuring out where we were, we assembled the rest of the drawer by clamping the pieces together and attaching them with pocket hole screws. Now you could use glue if you wanted to, but it's really not necessary. Once the outside of the drawers was assembled, we measured how large the bottom panel needed to be and cut down one quarter inch plywood to those exact dimensions. Sliding the bottom panel in might be our favorite part, getting that perfect fit where the edges match up perfectly. And the final step to hold the panel in is using a countersink bit and then coming back with some screws to hold the panel in place. So that's it. That's how you make drawers. 